Because I did think that was a little strange when, you know, of course, the Sajima, we, when you first meet Kato, he's beat the fuck out of like four or five guys without really breaking a sweat. Yeah. But he always kept his skills under wraps, as long as I've known him. How come? To keep the peace? Most likely. Kido and Rise Group, Kendamari Enterprises, is a minor branch under Shibata. The usual Yakuza outfit is all for conspicuous shows of strength, but not Kendamari. Cons conspicuous? Conspicuous? Jeez. Why not? Didn't want to stand out. Not in this town. That's just the way he was, I guess. That explains the short leash, then. Word of ass kicking spread fast around here. Yep. And Kanemura was the sort of guy who came to me for a loan to cover his tribute money. Expanding his turf and butting heads with the competition was the last thing on his mind. He figured that he figured that was the safest way for a small fish to survive in Kamurocho. Exactly. And that's why Ryan and Kido tried as hard as they could not to make waves. But yeah, Kido is actually a total beast. So do you think there's some reason why Kido got himself abducted? Right. He was already gone by the time I got back to the office that day. The place was trashed from the struggle. But one thing stuck out. What was that? The books on my shelves were replaced for me. Your books? Yeah. He probably used the fighter as an excuse to throw most of them around. Cover his tracks. But the one but the ones left on the shelf were enough to catch my eye. Oh shit, there's a goddamn key up there. On the on the lampshade. Wait, your office isn't what I I'd call organized, not by a long shot. Are you telling me you know where each and every book sits on your bookshelf? Yep, every last one. Nani. Seriously? Long story short, my pal Kido pulled a fast one on me. What I want to know is who hangs onto a hundred billion in cash in this day and age. Why don't you stash it in the bank? <laughs> well. He's got a pretty good reason not to give a fuck about banks. I don't trust banks. It's not like anyone, anybody pays decent interest these days. A hundred billion in cash is exactly portable. How'd they get it out? I asked the guys from the DA's office that raided my office yesterday. They did it. So they were imposters, you think? Yeah. Kasaragi probably sent them after Kido tipped them off. That explains it. Life's a bitch sometimes. Sure, you get used to getting cheated and backstabbed in my line of work. But when it hits one after the next like this, still, you seem like you're taking it pretty well. Most guys would go, to that, would go into total shock after losing a hundred billion. I am in shock. This is me. In shock. I mean, true, the money's not that big a deal, but still. Not that big a deal? Just means I have to make more. I mean, he managed to make that much money in how little time? I can see why he's like, yeah, uh, give me 10,000 yen. I can turn that into a million overnight. I bet. And hey, the week had its highlights. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I met you, Kiryu. You're my hero. You saved me five years ago. How did I do that? The Millennium Tower explosion five years ago? The one that set 10 billion yen raining down? Changed my life. I grabbed as much as I could and got off the streets. I got another lease on life thanks to you. That's some money you built your business on? Yeah. Although, come to think of it. And it was probably the same 10 billion yen my bank duped me into laundering for them before they set me up to take the fall. 10 billion Jingu diverted to the Tojo clan. Right. So what's going on now feels kind of personal. Well, that stuff happening now is tied to that 10 billion yen somehow. I'm there.
Anybody else starting to feel fate at work? Feels like we were destined to be here. Yeah, except for one man short. これからどうするんだ、お前ら。最初またやすく取り戻すつもりなのか。ああ、それしかないだろうな。だがどうすればいいんだ。金はすでに活ラギの元にある。やはり奴らの居場所を探して直接詰め込むしかないのか。いや、
<笑>伝説の国土ってのも交渉事は不得意のようだなそんな取引じゃ俺は動かない交渉ってのは心理戦だわざと相手に有利な条件を提示することで相手の興味を引き出すそういうもんだろうならどうすればいいんだそうだな分かったこうしよう今日の取引お前一人で来い一人そうだ一人だしかもお前にはボロボロの状態で取引に来てもらうどういうことだ<笑>ちょっとした余興をやってもらうってことだよあんたの好きな殴り合いってやつをね何取引の場所はカムロ町ヒルズの屋上にしよう俺は佐江島と妹をさらに一千億を用意してその屋上で待つあんたには屋上にたどり着くまで上野清和会の人間を全て倒してから来てもらう何だと<笑>あんたが屋上にたどり着けるかそれとも先に死んでしまうか俺としてはどっちでもいいこれなら俺に有利な条件だもし俺が屋上までたどり着いたら<笑>そん時はちゃんと取引させてもらうよただたとえそうなってもあんたにはもう俺を殺す余力は残ってないはずだそれなら俺も安心だわかってくれよキリュウさん俺もさ長生きしたいんだよあんたや佐江島みたいな化け物を2人も相手してじゃ命がいくらあっても足りない世の中には錦山や郷田隆二みたいな今まであんたが相手にしてきた男気あふれる極道じゃない人間もいるんだよさあどうするわかった行こう何時に行けばいい夜22時だ<笑>俺も死体じゃない生きたあんたに会えることを楽しみに待ってるよそれじゃわお、wow. go, キュウリュウ。Like、yeah, he wants me to bring the file to the top of Kimrocha Hills tonight at 10 p.m. Alone. Alone? That's insane. You don't actually plan on doing it, do you? I'll go. It's part of the deal I agreed to. He said I'd have to go through the entire Una Siwa clan to get to him on the roof. Guys, you're cautious enough. And you're sure you still want to go? I'm sure. Yeah, but cure you. No, no. Let him do whatever he wants. Besides, I think he's already made up his mind. Right, cure you? Right. Plus, a deal's a deal. I'll be back in a while. Why does Tanamura and Akiyama actually look pretty fucking weird? Alright, but be careful. I will. Oh,、well, that's why the models are just not set. Right, let's grab that locker key. Sweet. E3! Oh, great. Perfect. Alright, well, I think what we'll do, guys, is I want to swing by the、uh, coma key real quick. Um, at least get the, the first bit of his thing going because I, I hate to be like, oh yeah, no, I finished up with Gomaku without ever, without you guys ever once seeing him. I just feel like that'd be shitty.、Uh, so let's go open up the locker. We'll drop by Gomaku and I think we'll call it because it is. Wow, it's been a good little bit, feels like. And besides, I want to. Hold on. Hello there, Kiryu. Off to Kamarocha Hills? Guess I shouldn't be surprised, you know. Haha, <laughs> please, did you forget who I am? Anyway, you may already know this, but the entrance to Kamarocha Hills is open now. The one in the West Park bathroom? I'm sure you remember it. Yeah, got it. Okay. Actually, does. Oh, yeah, that's right, we got a shit ton of points. Hold on. Let me see. Ooh. Hey. All that jazz.、Uh, what else do we have here? That's.、Hmm. Let's 
Let's see. Thunder God and Shura Spirit. Um, hmm. I think I'm going to get a lot of these smaller ones out of the way first. Just, it, it feels like it'd be good to get them. Got a reversal. Got a throw. And let's get those es essences. Ooh! Konki Fist Reversal. Triangle gets an armor and unarmed attack without that. Okay. Ooh. Oh yeah. Give me that. Ooh, rah, cool. The shot stopper. Cool. Conky Perry. Nice. Ultimate essence? Huh. Okay. Neat. That was the fight. Leave me alone, you. Do not want to fuck with this. You really do not. Actually, we're on yeah, we'll the light right now. Okay, so we'll do this. Um, ba -ba -ba, hit up Koma Key, like I said, and yeah, we'll call it for now. Let's see what we got here. Oh, great. How are we looking? I'm only missing five. It's not bad. That's about the same amount of missing um, for the underground as well. Cool. Very cool, very cool. Alright, Kabuki! Where you at here, brother? You are at... Rio over here? Yeah? please. Gotta get her fucking skills back. <laughs> mm. My favorite disciple has finally returned. It's been quite a while. Indeed it has. He seemed to be holding up well. You left Kamarajo without saying goodbye. Again! I had to hear about the whole thing from someone else. I apologize. It wasn't the best of times. Well, I am happy to see you safe. By the way, Kiryu, have you been keeping up with your training? Well, I guess I haven't really been training as hard as I should recently. I thought so. You may be a master of the Kobuki martial arts, but technique withers without daily practice. And on top of that, you can't even update that blog of yours on time? Revelation Smevelation. Wait, you read my blog? Totally. Of course I do! Or you read my blog? What kind of master would I be if I didn't know when my beloved disciple discovers new techniques? I guess, but can you even use the internet? My apprentices keep bickering about how they could never get in touch with me, so I had to buy a cell phone. I even used I even used it to mail you earlier. Oh no, I even used it to mail you earlier, my bad. Really? I thought you had one of your apprentices do it for you. I'm going out of my way to operate these unfamiliar devices. So the least you can do is update that blog of yours. Okay, okay. I'll update it if I see anything else. Good then. I'll be waiting. But enough about that. If you haven't been keeping up with your training, you should practice here. Practice? That's right. What you need... Wait, what you need most now is not new techniques, but strengthening your basics. You'll be re retrained by returning to the raw f fundamentals. We'll get that soft, neglected body back into shape yet. Basics are the foundation of everything, I guess. Precisely. If you would like to practice here, I'll train you right. Tell me if you are interested. Thanks. I'll come back when I have more time. Great. I'll be waiting. Seems like Master Komaki is looking forward to reading my blog. I should look for a revelation updated. Okay. 
Let's see. Let's practice Konoki, though. Yeah, actually. Let's see if we can't learn anything from right now. Oh. Okay. Just fight him. Simple enough. And I'll step outside, too, to see you know, if we can get Mac to message us or something. Messages. Oh, you bitch. Oh, you bitch. Damn it. Damn. All right. Not bad. Damn. This guy's actually pretty sturdy. Not sturdy enough, I'm afraid, sir. Good. I expect nothing less of my star pupil. You're just as good as I remember you. Looks like your age isn't holding you back either. I could say the same for you. Alright, I'm going to tell you what I noticed while watching. I see. Your powers of perception never fail to impress, Master Komiki. Your advice is right on the mark. Well, I'm not in this business just for show. How do you feel? Is some of it coming back to you? Yes, thanks to your advice, I'm remembering how to move my body again. I feel like I better utilize my strength now. Thank you, Master. Oh shit, cool. Sucking off will eat away at your skills. You must constantly strive to improve yourself. Go now, my disciple. Looking forward to reading your next blog. <laughs> yeah, it's really cute. Well, that's a hell of a first thing to get. Let's just leave. Again, I just want to see if I'll get... Um, hopefully I'll get... Some kind of email here from Mac. Um, regardless if we do or don't here, though, we're going to head for a save, and that is going to do it. Wow, we've gotten a lot of shit done. We've finished up Tanamura stuff. We're in with Kiryu, and jeez, it looks like we're at mock speed approaching endgame. Now, you know, not to say that this one's gone on particularly long. Oh. Hold on. There we go. Ah, here we go. Perfect shot newsletter from Meg. Okay, everybody, let's get that perfect shot. Look for that perfect shot, then I have the newsletter for you. This week brings two beauties. First up, we have a kidnapping Kemurocho. An innocent child is in danger. The culprit has escaped to the rooftops. Best of luck to the sexy detective on his trail. And for number two, a plaster man charges out of the Popo and Nakamichi Alley. Let's drink responsible. Respons responsibly folks alcohol won't make you a superhero okay everybody let's get that perfect shot yeah maybe we'll get these real quick i can meet you alley popo there yeah okay i know what that is fuck it fuck it fuck it we'll get we'll, we'll get those revelations real quick okay that's a definite uh side uh, uh yeah, sub story But it sounds like they're both just going to be the same deal as we've seen before. Like the guy who had the... Oh, just, huh? ah! What the hell? You're fired. Don't come back. You don't need to tell me, man. I wouldn't come back here anyway. Damn, what the hell was that about? Hey, I know that guy. Shit. Guess we'll go back to Ibuki's place. Huh? Hey, aren't you... How did you recognize this guy with his back turned to you, Kiryu? Kurt Royale? What's up, man? It's Kiryu, not Kurt Royale, but yeah, nice to see you, Kotaro. Huh. Right, right, Kiryu, sorry, man. Damn, I haven't seen you in a while. That since you slapped some sense to me and I gave up the life of a hitman. Ah, uh, okay, so he's one of the guys back from three. How long ago was that, anyway? Just last year. Forget it already. Hey, details, schmintels, right? Anyway, you got some spare time? I was thinking I'd go see Ibuki and get a cup of tea or something. Want to come? Ibuki. Oh, that's right. He was the guy 
trying to help former members of the Tosha plan and get their lives back on track. That's right, Ibuki, from the Honest Living Association. Don't tell me he's still looking out for you. Yeah, I still need his help now and then. I mean, that's what Ibuki and the HLA do, right? Help people like me get back to a good, honest life. <laughs> and my life ain't that honest yet. <laughs> I feel sorry for Ibuki. Sure, I guess I'll... Oh, I'm sorry. Sure, I guess I'll go say hi to him. Great! Let's get a move on. God damn it. Just my revelations. Shit. Damn it. Uh, I take it from what I saw back there that things aren't going so well in the job department. Yeah, you said it. I don't know, it just ain't working out for some reason. I always try my best, but my bosses keep getting mad and firing me. I guess I'm just ahead of my time, you know? No, that's unlikely. My guess is you're doing something to piss them off. I told you nothing, I swear! I'm not quite convinced. It's nice to see that this place actually has a actual use now. Here we are! Hey, Buki, I'm thirsty. Give me something to drink. This is actually pretty cool that, um, this plays another role, apparently. So fucking creepy still. Very creepy. Well, hello there, Mr. Kiryu. Glad to see you looking well. Yeah, you too. Looks like the HLA is keeping you busy as ever. Certainly is. It's no easy task to get former Yakuza to start living on the straight and narrow. Yeah, tell me about it. Nevertheless, it's the HLA's job to support our members until they're capable of leading honest lives. Have you run into any more trouble with those hitmen who called themselves the Avengers? That's all cleared up now. A year ago, their attacks were such a threat, we could hardly keep our operation running. But next to you catching on the hitmen, because I definitely did that, things are going smooth smoothly now. Although one certain former Avenger does seem to still be hanging around and bugging you. Yeah, I fully remember now. Alright! Next I'm going to work up, work in an Okonomiyaki restaurant? I have no idea. That restaurant. I mean, a guy's got to eat, right? You know, I still can't believe he used to be a hitman. Huh? I thought he just wanted to look tough. But was too scared to actually ever kill anybody? Oh, Mr. Q, don't let him hear you say that. When I asked him once how he could be considered a killer, when he ever killed anybody, he flew off the handle. Hmm, guess he still got his pride. I think you're right. Unfortunately, it seems his pride is causing him problems now. With work, you mean? From what I saw, it didn't seem to be going very well. It isn't. His jobs never last very long. He's always getting into arguments with the staff and customers, and sometimes even gets into fights. The problem isn't that he's lazy or anything. If anything, he's too serious. Blech. You get the picture? He thinks he's giving it 100%, but that's not necessarily how everybody, how everybody else sees it. Exactly. But unfortunately, I can't follow him around his workplace and point out his flaws. Well, he's not a kid anymore. He should be picking up on this stuff on his own pretty soon. I hope so. Found a new part-time job. Yes, I rock. Didn't you have to go for an interview or something like that? Yeah, but I know they'll hire me. Who turned on somebody with this much energy? I admire your optimism. I'm going to go say hi and take care of the interview. Oh, I almost forgot. Thanks for the tea, Buki. Don't worry about it. Come by and see me anytime. I will. To admit that he does seem to be making progress a little at a time. Seems like it. I don't think you need to worry about him too much. I know. I do worry too much, but I still feel like I need to check in on him and make sure he's uh, taking to the new job. I'm sure you've got a lot on your plate, though. Plenty of other people need your help, too. Tell you what, if I run into him in town, I'll see how he's doing. You just take care of the rest of the HLA's work. Really? I'd appreciate that. Yes, if you do happen to see Katar on time, please do check in on him for me. Will do. <coughs> oh, God. Whew. Damn it. Fucking sub story.
Luchasaurus. Literally running right into him. But yeah, so we'll see about getting these uh, revelations wrapped up. And that will be it. For this session, at least, I hope. Damn. Because otherwise, uh, what, I'll, what I'll do is just, you know, my natural thing. I'll hit up whatever substories I can right now. <clears throat> Let's see, Popo so should be right here. Yep. Yeah. Same one again. They're both going to be ones we've already seen before, but you know. That's curious time to blog. Mm -hmm. Oh, Her legs just look weirdly bothered and all that. You tell him, dude. Get him. And yank. Nice. Powerful hit after a taunt works pretty well. That? I mean, that sounds like a good one. Yep, there we go. Blog it, buddy! Time man. Uh, let's see. Revelation. Alcohol is a scary thing. Sometimes it can change a weak, faint-hearted man into the bravest of men. One drunk man called out another man who was persistently coming on to a woman. The drunk then settled the score with a crushing counter kick. That brave drunk saved that woman tonight. I think I'll call him Necktie Man. Messenger of Justice. Essence of taunting? Okay. Then I'm pretty sure the woman, uh, you know, who's gonna be. What wire do I cut? The blue or the red wire? Should be up here. Oh, yeah, good. Yep, they're there. And actually, how many revelations does he have? Is it just these two? Wow, yep, that's it. Shit. Alright, fair enough. Alright, do your thing, lady. Flash him the bits. Come on, do it, lady. <gasps> the fun bits. Pretty sure that's after the uh, 
roll, and then you can go right to a headbutt. See the little fall, there's already go. Uh, um, that, I guess? I actually don't know. No. Damn it. None of that actually sounded good. Yeah, okay. Well. Okay, you know what? Because I don't want to repeat of that, you know, like that lady on the motorcycle. So I'm actually going to call now. Also, because the goddamn cats are going nuts. You guys probably can't hear it, but they're fixing a breakdown the day before. But anyway, that's going to do for now, guys. So when we come back, uh, we will be going undoubtedly to uh, Kamarocho Hills to rescue Yasuka and uh, Taiga and hopefully do with the Una Siwa clan once and for all. But until then, thank you guys so much for watching as always, my minnows. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Alright, see you guys later. Bye-bye.